I'm going to show you how to convert your PlayStation 3 game from a zip archive into a decrypted ISO file for you to use on an emulator or a modded PlayStation 3. Uh, so the first step we're going to do is you're going to get your game. Uh, in this instance, I have it in a zip folder, so I'm just going to extract it here. And once we have that, we're just going to delete the old files. You don't have to do that. I just like to keep everything nice and clean. So we have our extracted game here. And if we try to use this on our console or on an emulator, uh, it's not going to work. And you're going to come up with errors because the game itself is encrypted. So what we're going to do is we're first going to mount this image and how we do that is you can just double click it or you can right click and mount and you'll see that it mounts to your computer here on the uh, on the left and uh, it thinks that it's in a dvd drive uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to ps3 disk dumper uh, and we're going to open this up And it'll look like this. They've made a new visual update, so it'll look very clean like this. Uh, it'll look for the required encryption key, the disk key. And here it is, it's found the key. Uh, it shows you the dump size and the disk key. And now you just wanna click start. As you'll see here, it is decrypting the files into a new folder. Uh, this folder will be placed wherever you have Disk Dumper installed. Uh, so here it is, it's decrypted and copied. So now we can close Disk Dumper. And on the left here, where you have it uh, inserted into your DVD drive through software, you just want to right click and click eject. That just unmounts the file. And I'm going to delete it to keep everything clean. So we no longer need that anymore. And we have the outputted decrypted folder here. Uh, you can use this for uh, certain emulators and things. This is just a JB folder, so it will work. But if you want to convert it to a, an ISO to use instead, you can open up uh, ISO tools. See, I have it here, launch the app. And you just want to go to create ISOs have all your settings like this. This is just like the default settings. You don't think you need to change anything. Click on continue. It'll ask you where the game is. So I'm going to navigate to where the game is. Here it is. So you click on the main folder of the game, click OK. And now it'll ask you where you want to save the ISO folder. So you'll go and I'm just going to save it in that same folder. So you click OK. It's going to convert. You're going to get uh, this as your log. It'll just say OK and that it completed successfully. We can close that and close ISO tools. Now we're done with it. And if you go back to where you saved that new ISO now, this is now a decrypted ISO that you can use on your console or on an emulator. Uh, I hope that helped out a bit and uh, thank you for watching.